very good morning students in the last class we discuss about the first law of motion what is first law of motion every body wants to be at rest or in uniform motion until unless it is acted upon by an external force okay after that we have discussed a small concept called momentum what is momentum momentum is defined already we discussed that concept so i'm just explain it once again for you what is momentum momentum is represented by the letter p is equals to product of mass and velocity so the momentum of a mo moving body is defined as capacity of the body importing velocity to another body is called what momentum so this is momentum what are the units kg mass is measured in kg velocity is measured in meter per second so now it is a vector quantity because the velocity is a vector scalar into vector gives what vector now based on this one we have defined or we have derived second law of motion newton's second law of motion what we observed in the previous cases if you want to change the state of a substance you need to apply force without application of external force there is no change in state or position of a body means we required to apply some external force such that if a body is in rest will come into motion if a body is in motion is come to rest for example the pen is there it is at rest if i apply force on this one what happens it starts to move is what initially velocity is zero now there is change in its momentum right if already it is in motion if i apply more force then the velocity of the object will increase means what we are doing here by applying the external force we are changing the momentum of the body so that is what second law what is second law is the rate of change of momentum of body is directly proportional to force acting on it and takes place in the direction of force so what is that the rate of change of momentum the rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to is directly proportional to force acting on it force acting on it and takes place in the direction of force means along the direction of applied force there is change in momentum okay so very important law the rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to what force acting on it and takes place along the direction of applied force so let us consider for example let us consider i am considering a body of mass m initially it is moving with a velocity v if apply a force f on this body what happens for a small interval of time for a small interval of time what happens here velocity v1 changes to v2 right means what is the change in velocity delta v in velocity if you assume that v1 i applied on object of mass m object of mass m what happens its velocity v1 changes to v2 if that velocity we consider very small then delta t can be written as dt delta v can be written as dv what is dv change in velocity v2 minus v1 what about momentum delta r dp is equal to what ma m into dv is it right because of the application of force there is change in momentum main change in momentum because of what change in velocity so this is change in momentum according to second law f bar is directly proportional to rate of change of momentum rate of change of momentum that implies 
f is equals to or f bar is equals to k into dp by dt where k is proportionality constant now as you know very well that what is change in momentum here dp is equals to m into dv right k into d by dt of m into v bar as you know when you apply force on any object mass of the body remains constant that implies f is equals to k or f bar is equals to k into dv by dt okay what is dv by dt we know in the previous classes we learned that rate of change of displacement is called velocity rate of change of velocity is called acceleration so what is this rate of change of velocity so a is equals to what dv by dt so rate of change of velocity is called what ma acceleration f bar is equals to k into m a bar we prove that k is equals to 1 then f bar is equals to m into a bar this is the derivation of newton second law of motion what is newton second law of motion the force the rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to force acting on it and that momentum takes place along the direction of applied force so for this we consider a body of mass m initial velocity is v1 we apply a force because of the application of force its velocity v1 changes to v2 what is the change in velocity dv in a time interval dt because momentum depends upon velocity change in momentum is equals to m into dv so according to the second law statement f is directly proportional to dp by dt that implies f is equals to what ma k into dp by dt okay now what is dp by dt m into dv right yes now what we can write here k into m into dv by dt what is rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity is called acceleration so f is equals to what m into a understood okay now the si unit of force and the dimension formula for force let us see that si unit of force is newton represented by letter capital n so you know already rules of writing the units if you are writing with name it should be small letter and while notation you should represent with capital letter n or general unit of what m here right m is kg acceleration meter per second square what about the dimension formula ma see kg kg means m meter length l t square if it come numerator t power minus 2 so this is the dimension formula for force there are some formulas are there based on force for example they given that a body has a body is moving with some velocity we applied force f okay and its initial velocity is u after time t the velocity is v they have not given acceleration how to find is simple from kinetic equation of motion v is equals to u plus at that implies send you here v minus u is equals to at that implies a is equals to v minus u by t so force formula is what m into a that equals to what ma m into v minus u by t so this is one of the formulas that can be helpful to solve the problems for example one more example a car is car is there an object is moving with velocity u has seen some obstacle here apply brakes and travels a distance yes it doesn't come to rest at this point what is the velocity v now what is the force acting on the body to change its velocity from u to v see v square minus u square equals to 2as that implies a is equals to v square minus u square by 2s 
f is equals to what m a we can substitute as a as m into v square minus u square by 2 s. So, these are the formulas that help you to solve the problems. Okay. Next, we should define Newton. S important for one mark definition of Newton. What is the formula F is equals to M A? As we know, force is measured in Newtons. So, 1 Newton is equals to mass is 1 kc, acceleration is 1 meter per second square. So, how to define 1 Newton? 1 Newton is defined as the force which when acts on a body of mass k 1 kz produces in it an acceleration of 1 meter per second square. So, what is 1 Newton? Force acting on a body is said to be 1 Newton when it will acts on a body of mass k 1 kz produces in it an acceleration of 1 meter per second square that is called what mark? 1 Newton very important for one mark question. So, what is that? Newton is defined as the force as that force which when acts on a body of mass 1 kg mass 1 kg and produces in it an acceleration of 1 meter per second square an acceleration of how much mass 1 meter per second square understood so, Newton 1 Newton is said to be when it acts on a body of mass 1 kc and causes an acceleration of what 1 meter per second square. Okay. Next one, impulse. Mm. What is impulse? Before that I want to say some examples. Have you seen that? A cricket match in that when a per batsman hit the ball hardly near the sixth line, if a person catches the ball, how he reacts means while catching the ball, what he will do. Have you observed that immediately when the ball falls, he pulls his hand backward. Is it right? Have you observed this one? Yes. So, he pulls the ball backward. Why? Here, when a ball is coming with a maximum force, if it directly hits the palm of your hand, so it got some hurt, right. So, to reduce the force, what the player is doing that he is making to pull the force back means he is increasing the time such that the force acting on him will decrease, right. Yes. One more case. Same condition if you want to hit a six a ball sixer, everyone will be waiting to hit a six, right? But the fraction that a bat and ball will meet is very, very, very less time, right? At that small instant of time, how much force act on the body or act on the ball based on that one means we can say that timing, right? based on that one that they were the result of the ball will come right. So, here forces are acting on a body if you increase the time the force is decreasing in a very small interval of time the force should be maximum. So, the forces acting on a body for a short interval of time are called impulsive forces even while playing badminton we apply maximum force on the shuttle cock right very fraction of time. So, thus forces are called what? impulsive forces. For example, the forces 
acting on a body for a short interval of time or called impulsive forces a football or kicking a football a fielder catching a ball while blowing a hammer on the nail all these are the variable forces we are acting right yes but very small interval of time those are called what impulsive forces the if you consider here what it depends only two factors like right? force and time so that's why we can define impulse as the product of average force and the time and the time for which it is it acts on a body for which it acts on a body is called impulse it is written by letter capital i what is i product of force and time is it right product of force and time what is force now only okay general formula is this one what is unit ma newton second what is dimension formula for force m l t power minus 2 for second t so it can be written as what m l t power minus 1 it is also a vector quantity right yes okay there is one more formula what is that f into t what are the formulas we have written for here for acceleration m into v minus u by t can i take yes so what i can write here m into v minus u by t into t t t cancel what do you get mv minus mu this is called what impulse what is mv final momentum what is mu initial momentum so i is equals to what p2 minus p1 that is equals to what delta p so what we can define impulse is also defined as also defined as what ma change in momentum impulse can also defined as what product of force and time or change in momentum should not define rate of change of momentum if it is rate of change of momentum it is called what force change in momentum is called what impulse only change in momentum understood in the next class we go for third law and and its applications is it clear students so today class what we learnt momentum newton second law various forms of force and impulse clear yes thank you